what we got going on today. So, I'm super late. Hey, besties. I am just running in from the gym. As you can see, my hair is still wet. But it'll have to do. And guess what? Who cares about a little wet hair when you are focused on your goals, when you are focused on you? So, hair a little wet from just... Like I said, I just literally ran from the gym and I sat in the sauna and yeah, I am like, I'm sweating, but that's okay. <laughs> Y'all don't have to be here with me. So, uh, but I wanted to jump on today because, you know, I want to make sure that we stay connected. We see in each other eye to eye. For those of you who do not know me, I am Latanya Taylor. I am your business bestie. I'm a multi-business owner and multi-industries. Um, I'm a serial entrepreneur and, you know, I am obsessed with success and I am obsessed with myself and I am obsessed with my family and my children. And so it takes some obsession sometimes in order for you to stick with it, right? So if you're obsessed with the color black, you probably wear it all the time, right? Um, if you're obsessed what making sure you can't leave the house with getting a beat, then you are obsessed and you're going to make sure you do it, which I think is ridiculous. But anyway, I just want to throw that out there, not to throw no shade. I be seeing some of y'all, y'all be fully made up every day, all day. How y'all do that? So anyway, um, yeah, hey guys, it's me. For those of you who do not know um, the start of the new year, I did take on a new platform utilizing youtube for my latonya taylor tv that is going to be um one of my primary platforms that i'll be sharing videos and clips and behind the scenes and business information and things like that um on a daily basis so if you have not subscribed to latonya taylor tv i will drop the link shortly after this live nine minutes or less and I want to keep it to that because I want to utilize my other platforms that allow for um, me to provide more content for a longer period of time where it makes sense and so yeah Latanya Taylor TV on YouTube and yeah that's my new platform for my business besties all things business and for our besties and men your besties too you got y'all may not just say it but y'all know y'all got some besties y'all meet up at the court or whatever right but God, look at my hair, y'all. I am so sorry. that If y'all see what's up under here, thank God Renee just gave me an appointment for Thursday. I tried to go Friday, but I, you know, got to work with her. So I sent the message two minutes ago. But yeah, so I'm looking a little rough this morning. But yeah, guys, I'm excited about that. Um, there is some content on there now, so go take a look at it. But today I want to talk to you about taking your power back. And I've talked about this before. And the reason I'm bringing this up is because, listen... I was watching the R. Kelly last night, and I, I couldn't even watch it. I was multitasking, watching it. But I was like, we give these things power. The only way that something can grow is we have to give it our power. We have to give it our energy, right? The only way things grow is if we feed it, and we continue to elevate it, we continue to give it exposure. That's the only way that shit grows, right? So we just got to do better. If you know that you don't care for something, if you know something doesn't make sense, then stop feeding it, right? Stop giving it what it needs so it can grow and elevate. And so as I was watching, I was just like overwhelmed. I am so, mm, my daughter go get me. On our podcast, one of our segments is honestly, I, honestly, I am over a whole R. Kelly thing. You know, I, my sympathy goes out to those that were, victimize those that you know were part of that but I just think that from a public perspective I'm just over it it's time for healing it's time to move on all that other stuff is just it's just in the way and so it just made me think about this morning my message my word for today was like take your power back stop feeding into things that you don't want to grow things you don't want to um things you don't want to see prosper why are you feeding into it so it's just like feeding into your fears you wake up in the morning okay i'm not i'm, I'm not gonna do this because i'm scared to death you're feeding into it you're telling yourself you know you're not gonna do it instead of facing your fears eating your fears and doing something about it right 
I had to make sure I touched on that today. We will magnify, magnetize, elevate something um, because we put the energy into it. Stop doing that shit and move on from it. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's just like, why do we do that? We, we feed ourselves the shit and then we mad about it, right? So what happens when you eat? Right, you shit. So stop feeding yourself the bull. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what the outcome is going to be. So we just got to do better, you know, in regard to that. I think that makes no sense to me. Take your power back. That is the word for today. If you don't water it, nothing can grow. If you do not um, continue to put it out there, then it can't get the exposure. It can't elevate. But you got to take your power back. And one of the things is you got to eat up your fears. We got to stop being fearful of everything because we've never done. Hey, Melissa. Oh, God, I miss my Herbalife family. I got to get on it. So I've been working on something different this week. Uh, move on from it. Girl, yes, miss you so much. Um, but let me tell you what's been going on with me. You know, when I came into the new year, I wanted some new goals. And I knew in order for some new goals, I had to make some changes. So what you've always been doing isn't going to always continue to get you the results. And let me just tell you something. I was a... Um, What's the word? <laughs> I wasn't committed enough. So my daughter gave me this exercise. She was like, Mom, why are you walking on that treadmill for hours and burning 80 calories, for example? Well, Tierra gave me this workout. 30 minutes, 200 calories. One, it meets all my needs. First of all, my body feels great. I am, I mean, I walk out of there like I didn't walk into a hot box. So I'm definitely burning calories. I'm definitely, you know, uh, releasing fluids. I'm definitely getting the sweat game on. And I'm doing it in less time. And you know how important time is to me, besties. Like, y'all already freaking know. <laughs> My schedule sometimes is like this, back to back. So... Yeah, I had to find a new way to get my to get the results I want in a shorter period of time, which may take a little bit more work. So I have to put more effort into it because it's like a 12 incline um, that I do consistently and I'll get a full mile, 200 calories if I do it for 30 minutes. So if I do it for an hour, I'm going to get 400 calories and I'm going to knock out two miles. And it, but the fact, it's not just the workout besties, it's the fact that I feel so fucking amazing when I'm done. So that's like the big piece for me. So yeah, that's my new workout thing. And then the other thing is, I said this week, I promised myself I was going to eat clean all week. So I just been focused on eating exactly what I said I was going to eat. So for this week, if you look at my fridge, I have nothing but salads, either pre-made salads or salad stuff I need to make up. I bought a pack of salmon and a pack of chicken tenders to cut up. And I said, I'm going to do this salad thing um, for the week, um, but with meats and things that I like and just see what kind of results I get. So I'm real, real excited. So if y'all start seeing me walking around with a two-piece on, T probably going to be mad, but just know why, right? <laughs> so, you know, that's the goal. I want to try to lose lose some weight to... You know, sorry guys, try to lose some weight too and feel good and, you know, work smarter, not harder. I'm in and out that gym, I mean, in 45 minutes if I want to be. Like, in and out. I ain't one of those people rocking around the gym, watching, looking at everybody. They need to spend their whole three. Girl, I ain't got that type of time. So anyway, that's my new workout. That's why I hadn't been to see Melissa. I really just been focused on the consistent plan and see what kind of results I get. And then I'm going to start adding on some more stuff to see what works for me, but I definitely miss it. But sometimes you got to really sit and figure out what are you putting into your body? What is it creating? What type of results you're getting? So that's kind of what my workout has been this week. I'm Like I said, I'm eating completely clean, but I cannot wait to go eat somewhere this weekend um, or Friday, Just but still not going to overdo it. But for, during the week, I've done really, really good this week. Proud of myself. So working on that. What else? What else? Um... Let me see some pearls I want to leave y'all with because I have to go. It's 1222. You guys can find me on YouTube. Um, so, and don't forget, guys, if you're not getting my motivational messages um, of the week, we're sending out motivational. We're sending out tips. Also sending out some things that can help you. Make sure you text 833-240-7037, 833 
240-7037 and subscribe so that you can get these motivational tips. You can get all this good stuff I'm dishing out this year. Yes. So I am not playing with y'all this year. Y'all, <laughs> I'm definitely not. Um, but yeah, the other morning I was complaining. I was like, I wish I would complain because I asked God. I asked God for this. So how you going to complain about when he give it to you? Why are you going to complain when you got more on your plate than more on your plate but you ask for it so i am doing better than being thankful for the challenges that this everything that comes my way i am being positive about it and changing how i see things because even i can get crazy like running a business you're not talking about a couple hundred dollars like every week it's like <sighs> some days i have to just be like what the freak right like when you're moving you know what I'm saying? Ten, twenty thousand dollars a week in expenses for one business and payroll, and it can become overwhelming. So some days I'm like, "What the freak?" Especially when shit breaking down and not working. Um, people don't pay their rent. Like it's a lot. It's a lot. So I am thankful for it all, and I have told God to bring it on because I am ready for it. All right, real quick. Gave y'all how to get on the subscribe list so you can get some of this motivation from me every day. Tag your friends, your besties, right? And then let me leave you with three things that successful people do that you need to do. Or actions of successful people is what I'll say. Because all of you guys say you want this stuff, or some of you do. Want this life. You want all these things. But are you willing to do the things that successful people are doing to get it? Right? So one is taking risks. Some of you guys are scared of shit. Scared look scared of cats. Won't even jump out there. Won't even try. Right? And so one of the things you got to get over the fear of just taking the risk. Can you lose some money? Yes. Um, can you get, you know, could possibly people talk about you? Yes. But, like, who really cares? Um, the biggest thing is... You have to be willing to lose something in order to gain something. Because with with success comes some losses, comes some failures. So the number one is whatever it is you're afraid of. Like me, I keep putting off these swimming lessons. I need to learn how to swim. I'm afraid of heights. So those are some personal things that I want to work on. And I got to get to working on that. So any suggestions, drop them in the chat. Comment, like, wave. Let me know you're there. Um, the first one, like I said, take risks. Um, the second thing is, I'm going to say, figure it out. The word, My daughter said this on the podcast. Do not ever tell somebody you don't know. Or do not even tell somebody you can't do something if you've never tried. And, and never tried. And if not, just go figure it out. Like the worst thing I cannot take. And Christine knows this about me. Like, don't tell me I don't know. Because I'm looking at you like, go figure it out. Do not tell me you're not familiar with that. Go figure it out. Go get familiar with it. So the second thing I'm going to say is you have to go figure it out. Your credibility is everything. So for to tell somebody you don't know how to do something, that's sometimes not the best answer. If anything, say I'm not familiar with that and try to see if you can go research and figure it out. That, that Success people do not sit at a, a damn board table and tell people they don't know. That just ain't going to happen. Um, the last one I'll leave you with, you have to have a positive attitude. Guys, listen, it's so easy to be sad and be miserable and to be unhappy, right? You've got to have a positive attitude every day. With all the shit that's sitting here waiting for me that I don't want to deal with, um, but I know I have to, you just got to go approach it with the best attitude possible because you don't know what could end up being the end result and what's on the other side. So that's it for me. Um, your Lunchtime Live with your business bestie, Latanya. I am moving over to YouTube. So there may, if there is not a live, there'll be a link on my page to say, hey, go watch YouTube. There's some information there. And yeah, I'm excited about 2023. Ready to kick some ass this year. And, you know, really just continue to focus on my journey expansion. Um, yeah, expansion, right? <laughs> that's, that's the shit, but that's the, the expansion. So guys, truly, truly love you. I want, I want, I want us all to win. I, I actually have a YouTube that talks about collaboration, but I want to see us all win. I was telling somebody the other day, I don't want to be the only freaking seven figure millionaire on the fucking yacht or on the boat 
if I can have 10, 10 of my good girlfriends with me, then yes, I want, I want us all to be able to be on that boat. I want us all to be able to walk in up to the bank, you know what I'm saying, writing checks. I want us all to be able to write, you know, um, blank checks to charity and saying, take what you need. Like, I, the, the, the dream has to be that freaking big. And for me, it is, I don't want to do this alone. So, you know, all this hate, you know, somebody don't like somebody and all of that. That's one of the reasons why our culture can't move forward. Because we just don't believe in the power of, you know, working together, right? And putting it together. And so I was telling my brother this morning, I said, between you and me, we just need to go ahead and buy this fucking land. And go ahead and build what we're ready to build. And it's the same thing that I want to be able to do with my friends and, you know, my sisters out there and people that really want to do real business. Hit me up. 833-240-7037. I'm out.